riding, riding, I'm vibing, I'm chilling, I'm good. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, my name is Felipe Charming, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I kind of rambled about a lot of different things, everything from who's Felipe and why he is the way he is, and all this good stuff, and it went from that to like me talking about a bigger picture in the black gay community. And be sure to follow me on all of my social media, don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you can see every single time that I upload. And if you guys are interested in watching me do this look and listen to what I have to say, then keep on watching this video. Hey guys, okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing my first chit chat get ready with me. I really enjoy watching chit chat, chit, chit chat get ready with me, so that's why I wanted to do one. Yeah, so in this video, I'm not really gonna be explaining what I'm doing, more so just like getting ready and talking about, you know, whatever's on my mind. By the way, if you guys are interested, I already did my brows tutorial or routine, so. If you want to see that, that should have been posted, but it will be linked in the description. So I've been asking, what should I talk about? And I'm not going to lie. No one really said what I should. Anyway, regardless, so whatever. So I guess I want you guys to like get to know me on a more like personal level. But see, my issue with that is now my channel is no longer just me and you guys. It's me, you guys, and people who I see on a regular basis. I just don't like people in my business. But not people. I don't know how to explain it, but it's complicated because it's like, people won't comment, but when they see you, they'll talk about, oh, that part in your video when you did, like what? That's what the comment section is for. You see me on a regular day-to-day -day basis. These videos are not really for you, but that's besides the point. Anyway, I mean, I guess whoever wants to watch can watch, but it's like, just don't pull up with no dumbass comments. Like, someone said something to the effect of, Oh, Felipe, I've seen one of your YouTube videos. Um, you would never thought, what are, I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, oh, I've seen one of your makeup tutorials. It's like night and day, or some shit like that. And I was like, bitch, what? For some reason, people feel like they can say whatever the fuck they want to me. Like, I don't know if it's because people think I'm this giggly, like, fun, lighthearted person. But that's just who I am. But that doesn't mean that you can, like, play in my face. Don't feel like you can say whatever you feel like you can say to me. Absolutely the fuck not. No, bitch, because I will clap back hard as fuck and what kills me is you would expect this from like teenagers or like whatever granted I don't see teenagers on a regular basis because I'm not in high school which I don't know uh, adults feel like they can say whatever the fuck they want and it's just like anyway that's the topic for another video I don't know this is kind of all over the place so far but um one of the suggestions I got for things to talk about in my first chit chat get ready with me was talk talking about why I am the way I am or However you want to form formulate that sentence. I forgot how he said it. But shout out to Asian Prince on Instagram. Long story short, he was like, talk about how or why you are the way that you are. Or like, you know what I'm saying? What makes you you or something to that effect. But I feel like a lot of what makes me me. Yeah, his name is not on his um Instagram. But his thing says Golden. Shout out to you I was on Instagram you can't even see that but I was on Instagram live and I asked that he was the only person watching because I'm not bopping like that but yeah y'all go follow me on Instagram by the way so what makes Felipe Felipe I feel like the root of me comes from the way that my family is set up and we're just a different kind of people being Honduran being being black being black Hispanic I just kind of came into this world already being something that isn't the norm or like not even the norm but common so growing up in school I always came into people telling me oh you're not really black oh you're not really Spanish and I even to this day I have friends who make jokes about it and it's just like annoying like honestly truly sometimes it's funny sometimes it's annoying it really just depends but 
Really, truly, honestly, it's really kind of annoying. Like, I kind of dealt with that already, and I'm, you know, pretty content with being a black Hispanic person. And people feel like I'm being bougie, or I'm, I think I'm better than when I say stuff like that. No, that's just simply who I am. The same way people just simply say that they're black, the same way people simply say that they're Hispanic, the same way people simply say that they're white. I don't understand, you know, or whatever they are. I don't understand what the issue is with me announcing, you know, I'm proud to be black Hispanic. What the fuck is the problem? And I am not gonna lie, I, I um, relate more to the black com community than the Hispanic community because I do feel like there is like a certain level of, um, I don't know, I don't wanna say it's racism, but to a certain degree, yeah. Like I also remember there was a day where recently in my adult life, I was going to work to pick up my check. Long story short, dude asked me what my name was. I say Felipe, and mind you, he's a, he's Hispanic, so that's what irked me about this. I was like, um, my name's Felipe. He was like, why do you have a Spanish name? As opposed to saying, oh, that's cool, where are you from? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to act in a different way. You're just, why do you have a Spanish name? Because my people are Honduran. That was my response. But realistically, truly speaking, my response should have been, bitch, why are you mad? Why is that even a question? Anyway, so I'm going to be trying the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation for the first time. Oh, shit. Okay, she squirted everywhere. Pause. I just picked the darkest shade just because. So this is in the shade 112. I hear a lot of great things about this. I keep hearing that this is the best um, drugstore foundation. Anyway, and it's not like he asked, oh, where are you from or whatever. He literally said, why do you have the Spanish name? Like, little things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, automatically... Growing up is basically like I already automatically have this um, defense mechanism, whether it be my race, my ethnicity, my nationality, whatever you want to call it, um, or my sexuality. Growing up, I did get like, you know, people feeling like, you know, speculating. Is he gay? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just a really complex person, long story short. It's just there's so many different levels and layers to why I am the way that I am. Um, I don't even know if that was what his question really was, but in reference to the core, me having this defense mechanism up against people and just people being so small-minded and negative. Okay, this color looks really dark. Um, I think I can make it work. Anyway, yeah, this looks too red. I might have to mix this with the Total Cover Foundation. But yeah, like... I don't know, I feel like this chit chat is all over the place, but it's my first one, don't drag me. But yeah, like, you know, being gay aside, or like just, I don't know, like, I, I make jokes about being a person, like, oh wow, I can be a person, you know, when I'm home, I can be a person, or I can only be a person around certain people. And I, it's, a, it's an ongoing joke, but I really do feel this way, because not only am I, you know, for some reason, up for like, Basically trying to like be a person without people's input or people's opinion or someone just saying something negative or just feeling like they're just allowed to just blurt out their opinion or whatever the fuck it is. Like I kind of just feel like a lot of the times I can't just be a person because I always have to be guarded or just expect the bullshit. Especially being gay like a lot of my friends don't understand like why I rather go to the gay club or why I which honestly I'm not even like a club head like that so don't even like you know what I'm saying but life is just different for someone like me because you're so used to people saying stupid shit on the internet or making slick ass comments behind your back so I'm just a guarded person like I don't even know if y'all understand what I'm trying to say but I like this foundation it's just way too like red way too red but yeah anyway i feel like i always have to be guarded okay the coverage on this is fucking amazing but it's like i have to go through life being guarded i have to anticipate negativity a lot of the time whenever i'm going out i have to think of a lot of different things like what kind of environment is this people are killing people just because whatever reason so of course if me being me me being the way i am there's people in the world who are just angry. So nine times out of 10, you know what I'm saying? I know I can go to a gay event and not have to worry about being attacked. But then again, you know, uh, let me just re rehash that because I didn't want to bring up the event that occurred, but that that's not really the point. Um, 
I guess my point in saying everything I just said was me personally, I am a super guarded person everywhere I go. I don't really feel like I fit in anywhere because I just don't. Like, I don't fit in anywhere, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um... I don't know, I feel like this chit chat is all over the place, but I, I, I feel like, I don't know, you may catch the gist of what I'm saying. I feel like I'm more focused on the makeup than the chit chat, but yeah. Anyway, me being me, me being gay, me being a gay boy that wears makeup, and yes, that does make a difference. Me being, me being a black gay boy that wears makeup also makes a difference. I guess that's why I kept saying black Hispanic, but... I, I kind of identify more with African American, obviously, but at the end of the day, I am Afro Latino. If I'm with my friends and their friends, and there's guys there, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know their stance, I don't know their thoughts, and I kind of just have to anticipate negativity because I think everybody knows how homophobia in the black community is set up this is what I'm used to I went through that throughout high school throughout middle school hell I even experienced homophobia in motherfucking middle I mean elementary school you know what I'm saying like granted I didn't come out until after I got graduated high school so this wasn't something it wasn't something I embraced it's just kind of like something people just pointed out and just made fun of and so nowadays, it's just like, I kind of just expect people to be negative towards me just because of the fact that I am gay. And people just feel like, why do you like to go to gay clubs? Or why should we go there? It's the same thing. You being at a, us being at the gay club is the same thing as you being at the straight club. Um, no, it's not. No, it is not. Because you being a straight black female is a completely different animal than me being a black gay male. A straight black female is going to be widely accepted at the gay club. A black gay male may not be widely, widely, emphasis on widely accepted at a straight club. Why? That's just, you know, that just is what the fuck it is. And at the end of the day, my walk in life as a black gay male will forever be different than, you know, anyone else on the spectrum. So I, I honestly do feel like every other race of every other sexuality does have it a lot easier than a black gay male. It's like the most difficult form of life because everybody's homophobic. Black people are the most homophobic. Sorry, but to put... I hate putting people in boxes, but honestly, when African American community comes together facing tragedy, of course, the black gays are a part of that, and that's the norm. But the minute that there is a tragedy in the gay community, whether it's the gay community or the black gay community, the black community is kind of like, you know what I'm saying, there is not a lot of, you know, support in that area, if that makes any sense. I feel like you'll probably understand what I mean in the slightest little bit. Anyway, I say all that to say... Black gay males have it the hardest. I don't care what nobody say. We have it the hardest. We have to prove ourselves to the gay community. We have to prove ourselves to the black community. We have to prove ourselves to the world. Being black men. You know what I'm saying? And then just being gay is just like just a whole other obstacle. I feel like this conversation went in another direction than I expected. But I feel like y'all get what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I feel like I come off like kind of standoffish. And I feel like I am that way because I am so guarded and... I guess everything I just said about being black, gay, and Hispanic, that's kind of why I'm guarded. But even within the black, gay community, I am still guarded. Why? Because there's so much shade and so much pettiness and so much fighting and so much I'm that bitch, I'm that girl. Like, I get it. Everybody's that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, I do feel like everyone should feel like they're that bitch, but that's no reason for you to be intimidated by the next person or like side-eyeing somebody who's different than you. I don't know. I just feel like in the black gay community, it's just like really a complex thing. I don't know. I can't even explain it. It's just a lot. But anyway, long story short, the way I feel about the black gay community is, you know, the whole world, literally the whole world is against us. And within the black gay community, we're so worried about who's driving what, who's fucking who, and all this competing against one another. I hope my makeup's coming out okay. I feel like I look fucking bananas. But 
I just feel like black gay America really does need to come together and not just black gay America, gay America too. But like I said, it's just a different ball game. Being a black gay male is just a different ball game. Like I can't explain it, but I guess that's what I tried to do in the last 20 minutes or however long. But yeah, I just feel like we spend so much time tearing each other down. We need to be building each other up instead of throwing shade and having beef and all this bullshit. And there's enough for everybody to eat and boss the fuck up you know what i'm saying everybody has this there can only be one ass mentality and that shit blows i just don't understand why everybody just can't get along but this brings me back to why i am the way i am why i am so closed off why i am so i don't want to say anti-social but i mean in my experiences even with my own like friendships and stuff friendships it's just like it's always a competition like why what are we competing for what are we competing for like i'm in my own lane that is way too harsh i'm in my own lane you're in your own lane what the fuck are we competing for please do tell why the fuck can't i do me without having to compare it to you you know what i'm saying you can't compare apples and oranges it's just not you know I have friends, I have people I'm cool with, I have people who pick me up and put me down as if I am a doll whenever they're ready to play with me, you know what I'm saying, oh hey, we live for Felipe, but when they get bored or when their life's going good or whatever the case may be, it's like, oh, Felipe who? But that's just how I feel, honestly. I just don't understand what all the negativity is for. I don't get it. I will never get it. I kind of just pull up, do me. And gracefully bow out in that regard but I do have people I'm cool with and have been cool with but like I said people to me my experience with the black gay community very very wishy-washy very team team ourselves not us it's not about us in community it's about you know what I'm saying it's about what I'm wearing to the club and who I'm fucking, who my man is. Like, no, that's corny. You're corny. And then on the other hand, you know, there's the younger generation coming up who is going through the phase that, you know what I'm saying, a phase that I went through myself. And I really do worry about our community because a lot of people don't speak on a lot of things. Like, growing up gay, growing up black and gay, you know what I'm saying, like, that shit was a fucking monster. It was a fucking monster. I don't know how to explain it, but I really do worry about our adolescent black gays because I'm using the Jeffree Star and Trashy palette, by the way. But I really do worry about our adolescent black gays. Like, um, being 14, anywhere from 14 to 18, growing up gay, even younger than that. But I'm gonna just gonna start there because that was kind of like the worst part of it all. Like. That was a very pivotal time in my life because I did have thoughts about, you know what I'm saying, hurting myself. But I would never actually, like, you know, see myself going through with anything. But the fact that the shit actually ever crossed my mind because of the things that people would say is, like, it baffles me. I don't know, but... I just worry about our younger black gays. That was just a pivotal time, you know what I'm saying? There, I didn't have anyone to relate to. I couldn't pull up on YouTube and look at, you know, watch someone and relate and feel like, you know, someone out there understands what I'm going through. I literally felt like I was alone. So that's a big part of why I do what I do. That's why, you know what I'm saying, I talk about the things that I talk about on YouTube. I'm not on here because I want to, you know, just because I want to be popping and just because, you know, I want all of this and I want all of that. And I want free this and free that. No, that's not the point. My initial point of doing YouTube was because I wanted people who, people who are different. People who are different or just feel like they don't have somewhere to go or someone to relate to. This was just, you know, intended for those people to kind of have someone to relate to a place, you know, where they can comment and just live freely, I guess. Not live freely, but just express themselves. Because I didn't have that. I didn't have that. I really did not have that. When you bottle up all this shit all the time, you have to understand. Growing up black and gay, it's like you're just not allowed. It's like you're not allowed to really be who you are. And that's like, 
that's emotionally draining, bro. You kind of suppress who you are so heavily that you kind of, I don't know, it's just like, this is just a really dangerous downhill to go. I, I can't even explain it. But that this is why I just, I don't understand all the beef and the negativity in the black gay community because it's like, bro, we all come from the same place. You know what I'm saying? We all come from the same fucking place and yet and still people want to act like they're better than or they're too good or this, that, and the third. What's the beef about? What's the shade for? I don't get it. All in good fun sometimes, but, but yeah, it can be a bit much sometimes too. I, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's really just because that's really just how I feel. Like, what are we beefing about? Please do tell. This is a lot more eyeshadow than I intended on using. You know, we have all the reasons in the world right now to come together. But when push comes to shove, I just hope everybody is woke. Like, I still see the same exact foolishness. Life is just entirely too short for people to be so sleep. Just unify and support one another. Probably have to go back and fix my brows just a little bit. And my face feels like a powdered donut. And I just dropped my... And I broke my mirror. And I'm barefoot. Great. I'll clean that shit up after. Sorry. Um, I low-key do have like a white cast. I think I put way too much um concealer on. I feel like a powdered zona. It's time for some setting spray. <laughs> You guys, if you want your highlight to pop, get this brush. She is from Real Technique. Angled highlighter brush. She's everything. Yeah, I'm gonna be highlighting with hot sand. I think you guys do get what I'm trying to say though. But yeah, this is why I'm like standoffish in the same respect, I'm very like inclusive, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a warm person, you just have to give me a chance. I'm a little socially awkward and I, I think I am socially awkward because of all the reasons that I just explained, like having to be guarded and stuff. Maybe not socially awkward, but because it depends on the environment and the people too. It's not just everybody, you know? I'm not like socially awkward with everybody. Hey. Hey. What's up? Film, nothing filming. What's up? You're filming? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> You're petty. I think I am done. I just need mascara. So I'm just gonna like rapidly finish my face because I kind of forgot where the conversation left off. Anyway, but. Complete this look even more. I'm just dirtying up all my new brushes. My camera's about to die any second. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too rambly. I hope you guys caught the gist of what I was trying to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.